way and everything that is said and done. <coughs> Amen. That we can leave out of your statement that it's been good. Amen. To be in the house of the Lord. Uh, we're not going to go into Revelation tonight. I had, uh, I had studied Revelation and uh, uh, just uh, seemed like the Lord kept leading me in another direction. Amen. So you pray tonight uh, for the message that we feel like uh, God has laid up on our heart. Amen. And, uh, so uh, uh, you pray that God will just have His way. Amen. That His name will be uplifted above every name. Amen. I had somebody here a while back and say, well, preacher, uh, you, you're supposed to teach Revelation every minute tonight. Hey, listen. Well, I got to do what God tells me. Amen. 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 And if the Lord ain't leading me in Revelation, then I don't have no business being in Revelation. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hey, that's hard enough to understand anyway, let alone trying to get in there on your own willpower. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So you pray tonight that... Uh, <clears throat> That the message, amen, I believe if you pay real close attention to it, amen, I believe that uh, the message tonight will help each and every one of us, amen. And boy, I tell you, we live in a day and an hour that we need help, amen. amen. For every time that we need, amen, help, it's amen. each day and an hour that we're living amen. in, amen. So if you want to read with us, we're going to be in the book of Philippians in chapter number four. Down in verse number 11. Amen. And we read this, and I was sitting out on the porch today drinking a cup of coffee, and God laid this scripture up on my heart. Amen. And went back and began to read, began to study. Amen. And uh, the Lord gave us a little bit of uh, a little bit of something out of here, and I don't know whether it's going to be a teaching message or a preaching message. I don't know. Amen. Right now, you know as much about it as I do. Amen. So, you just pray tonight that God will have His way. Amen. But over in the book of Philippians in chapter number 4, amen, in verse number 11. Now I want you to listen real close to what it says. He said, Not that I speak in respect of want. Amen. In other words, Paul was saying, I, I don't mean what you got. Amen. That's what he was saying. He said, I don't stand in need of nothing. Amen. He said, For I have learned in whatsoever state I am therewith to be content. Amen. Now let that soak in. Amen. He said, And I have learned in whatsoever state that I am therewith to be content. Let us pray. Father, dear Lord, it's again, God, that we come to you with thankful hearts, thanking you, Lord, for this day, thanking you, Father, Lord, for another opportunity, God, of being in your house, and Lord, to have our feet, Lord, up underneath your table, and God, Lord, you've been so good to us, and Lord, we pray tonight, Father, if we've done or said anything, God, that Lord would hinder this in any way, Father, we pray tonight, God, that you'd forgive us of it. Lord, pull us up close to the cross and God to make preaching or teaching easy. And Lord, we pray tonight, Father, that everything, God, will be done for your glory, Lord, and your honor, and God, that your name, Lord, would be lifted up above every name. And that, Lord, that we might be able to walk out of here tonight saying, I'm glad I'm saved and on my way home. And Father, how we thank you, Lord, for everything. Lord, that you've done. And God, whatever's accomplished tonight, Lord, will not fail. Father, to bow our head and Lord, to give you the praise. For Lord, we ask it all in Jesus' holy and precious name we do pray. And amen and amen. If I had a title and I lay up all this message tonight, I'd like to use a title just for a little while on staying focused. Amen. Well, staying focused. You know what focus means? It means that we give something our undivided attention. Amen. That it, it's the main thing in our life uh, that we need to be worried about. And I believe today, amen, as a church and as a group and as a family of God, 
We need to be focused, amen. amen. We need to be focused on everything that is around us, amen, amen. tonight. And, uh, number one, I believe tonight that we need to be focused in our in trials, amen. Boy, everybody in here, they go through trials and they go through uh, difficult circumstances amen. sometimes. Amen. And, amen. We never know from one minute to the next of what life is going to throw uh, to us tonight. And Amen. We don't need to let uh, the circumstances of our life uh, control our life. Amen. Right. But we need to let God uh, control our circumstances. Yes. Amen. Yes. So yes. how do you do that? By being focused. Amen. On what God wants us to do. Amen. If there's ever a time that we need to have our eyes upon the cross and upon uh, Jesus. Amen. It's a day of hour in which we live in. Amen. Amen. You take your eyes off of the cross and you take your eyes off of Him and you're going to fall flat That's on right. your face. Amen. 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 Paul learned that. Amen. 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 He was saying here that we need to uh, stay focused. Amen. It ain't the circumstances uh, around me that gives me joy, uh, but it's knowing Him. Amen. 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 That gives me the joy that is uh, overcoming yes. everything else uh, in my yes. life. Amen. And boy, I tell you, if there's ever a time that a church uh, needs to stay focused uh, on what thus saith the Lord, uh, it's a day and hour uh, that we're in. Oh, it gets so uh, I've been out of shape sometimes uh, uh, because somebody will bring wrong uh, or somebody will say a word. Uh, uh, brother, I tell you tonight, if you're focused uh, on that, you're headed for trouble. Uh, amen. But what we need to be focused Focus on uh, is the things that is important uh, in our life, uh, and that is this man uh, uh, called yes. Jesus uh, yes. and His Word. Uh, yes. We need to be focused yes. uh, on God tonight. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Tonight, brother, I tell you how you live. Amen. It ain't going to break me or mold me. Amen. But Jesus is able to do that. We need to be focused uh, in our trials, whatever circumstances. Uh, that comes up in our life. And there's some times that we don't understand. We just need to focus on God. Amen. To focus on the Lord. I remember what one of the writers said. He's the lily of the valley. And he is the bride and the morning star. He's the first of 10,000. Amen. Tonight, that's the one that we need to be focused upon in our trials. Amen tribulation comes. Where else can we run to? I set the shelter of the rock. And that rock is Jesus. Hey, I'm telling you tonight, whenever I'm in the midst of the battle, and they ain't but one set of wings, I want covering me. And that's the Lord and Savior, and Jesus Christ. And because He knows what He's doing tonight, how we need to get focus uh, upon the Lord uh, and upon the cross uh, and upon the salvation uh, that the blood of Jesus uh, brings to us. Amen. Amen. Boy, how often we get out of focus. Amen. And we yeah. get out of sync. Amen. This evening we don't only need to focus in the Lord in our trials but we need to focus on Him in our walk tonight. Amen. Amen. Tonight, brother, I tell you, I don't know about anybody here. Amen. This evening, boy, I want to be uh, all I can be for Him. Amen. Yes. But brother, I tell you, we ain't got to remember, amen, in our walk who God is. Amen. Tonight, and who the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is. Amen. Boy, I tell you, if you always remember that, it'll never steer you wrong. Amen. First uh, second Corinthians uh, uh, chapter number one and verse number three. I uh, uh, said that he was the father uh, of all mercies. Amen. Uh, and the God of all comfort. Uh, honey, let me tell you, there ain't nobody uh, that can comfort you like God can. Uh, amen. There ain't nobody uh, I got the mercies like God is God. Uh, amen. amen. Whenever I was doomed for hell, uh, his mercy stepped in. Uh, his grace scooped me up and took me to a higher plane. Amen. The night I'm living the night. Tonight, boy, I tell you, this 
world, it'll lead you astray in a heartbeat. Amen. Tonight, this world will cause you to stumble. This world will cause you to fall. Yes. Amen. Tonight, this world does not have anything in it that you need. Amen. Tonight, a lot of people, they measure their status on how big their bank account is, how nice of a car they live, how uh, drive, and what kind of home they live in, yep. and what kind of income they have. Yep. It don't make any difference. Amen. Tonight, I'm here to tell you tonight, you to be poor as a beggar and rich as a king yes, all man. at the same time. And it's all because of his mercies. Yes. Amen. Tonight we need to be alive. Yes. For this man called Jesus, yes. how do you be that light? Am I staying focused on the one yes. that saved you? Amen. Tonight this book will never lead you astray. This book will keep you on the straight and narrow way. Yes. Look, I keep you in good standards. I let this man call Jesus. We need to focus on our walk. We need to focus on our prayer time. We need to focus on our devotion time. We need to focus on the things that we need to do. For this man called Jesus Christ, I find this evening because he is God. And there is no other. There's no other place you can go to. I like Jimmy or one of them said, there's not another name in under heaven I've given unto you whereby you may be saved except of the name of Jesus. Amen. Yes. Yep. Boy, I tell you what, in all the troubles that Paul had, shipwrecked, beaten, put in prison, amen, tonight in all of them things, Paul, Never forgot one thing. Amen. He never forgot who God was. Amen. Right. He knowed who God was. Amen. Tonight. Boy, sometimes I hear people talking and complaining. Amen. Tonight. And boy, I tell you what. Hey, sometimes that I just want to say a holler out, I just shut up, amen, and listen to God, amen, amen, amen. Right. because God's got this thing, right. He's got your problem before you ever get a problem, yes. He's got yeah. your burdens before you ever had a burden, amen, tonight He's got everything before it ever happens to you, and because before it ever happens to you it's already happened to somebody else, yes. and God has yeah. always been there, Amen tonight. I'm glad tonight that Hebrews uh, said that I'll never leave you, never forsake you. Uh, amen. He's somebody uh, that you can count on. Amen tonight. Uh, you might dial my phone and I might be busy uh, or I might be out of town. Uh, but brother, there's a God uh, that loves you. Yes. Amen tonight. Uh, and that has mercy on you. Uh, you need to focus on Him. Uh, and you need to focus your walk uh, Oh, well, where it's not a uh, uh, pleasing to me, but pleasing to him. Uh, 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 for he's the one uh, uh, that you got to take him. Uh, 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 brother, yeah. tonight when I come in out uh, uh, of the house of God, uh, listen, tonight be the one thing on my mind. Uh, and that's pleasing him. Uh, uh, lifting his name up uh, higher than any other name. Uh, uh, I could be lifted uh, because he uh, is worthy. Amen. 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 Thank you. When we're fighting and fuming and fussing. Amen. There ain't no focusing going on. Amen. Amen. Tonight, if you focus on the Lord, you ain't got time for all that junk. That's right. Amen. Tonight, not only that, but you need to focus on the vision that God just gives you. Amen. Tonight, you might say, Preacher, I don't have a vision. Shame on you. Amen. Tonight, the Bible said in Proverbs, Amen. Chapter number 29 and verse number 18. He said, where there's no vision, people perish. Amen. Tonight, brother, I tell you, that's what's wrong with our churches today. Ain't that a lost their vision? Amen. Ain't that a lost their unction? Amen. Tonight, when it comes to knocking on doors, you know what everybody else says? Let it, somebody else do it. Amen. Or let the preacher do it. Amen. Tonight, or let the, let the young people do it. Amen. Amen. Well, I tell you, I've heard that I'm about sick. Amen. Tonight, people say, well, let the young people do it. Hey, it ain't up to the young people to carry the load of the church. Amen. It's up to you and 
with me yeah. tonight. Amen. Yeah. Hey, tonight, boy, I tell you, ain't a lot yeah. of people that all stir the vision. Amen. When you lose your vision, then you lose your desire. Amen. Yeah. Tonight, boy, I don't ever want to lose my desire. Are people able to do everything in the world except go on visitation? Amen. They're able to barbecue. They're able to cook out. They're able to visit their family. They're able to come to the church. Amen. Tonight, they're able to come in and worship God. And you miss your visitation. And they run like a bunch of scared hags. Amen. Tonight, this is the Bible said. And they go out into the world. Amen. They can tell the world to come in. Amen. Amen. Tonight, that the Father's house, it might be full. Amen. 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 Tonight, we need to focus on our vision. And if you don't have one, praise God, you want to get one. Amen. 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 Tonight, a vision from the lost men and women that need to be saved before the Lord comes back. Amen. Amen. We need to stay focused tonight. We need to stay focused. This is a trying time for the church. Amen. Tonight we got elections coming up here for too long. Amen. Last week we lost a precious soul. Yes. Amen. They come in here about every Sunday whenever she was healthy enough to come. Right. Amen. Tonight, and boy, I'm telling you, now let me tell you something. The old devil will use that against you if you let him. Amen. 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 Tonight, but honey, I, I done made a promise. Amen. I, I told her whenever she passed away, I said, I'll see you in a little while. Amen. Right. And I mean to keep that promise. Yes. Amen. Amen. I mean to stay focused. Amen. On the goal <laughs> that God called me to do. Amen. Tonight, I, I've been preaching for 40, uh, about 44 years. And amen. Tonight, you say, preacher. <laughs> How in the world do you ever come up with something new? Amen. Amen. Tonight it's new and refreshing every day. Amen. If you get in the Word of God every day, you'll find out you don't know near as much as what you think you do. Amen. Amen. Tonight because God is a God of all wisdom. He said if any man lack of wisdom, let him ask of God. Amen. Church, we need to stay focused. Amen. We need to stay about of the Father's business. Amen. Tonight you know what the Lord said? I hear so many people say, well, I love God. Amen. Tonight. And I know I'm saved. Amen. This evening, you know what God said? He said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Amen. I do what I tell you to do. Amen. Be a living witness to a lost and a dying world. Amen. And I don't mean you shout like a saint in church. Amen. And act like a hypocrite in Walmart. Amen. If you saved here. You're saved where? And we need to be focused on the things of God and to help us grow and to help us to materialize into becoming a child of God. Amen. We need to keep our vision. We need to keep our vision. We had a vision of a church. Amen. We had a vision of starting a mission. Amen. Tonight, if you lost that vision, I ain't lost that vision. Amen. Tonight, you might say, Preacher, hey, it ain't a happening. Hey, it ain't going to happen in your time. Amen. Amen. But it'll happen in God's time. Amen. Amen. God's done already got a place. Amen. Tonight, we just got to be patient. Wait up on Him. Yes. Amen. Tonight, people say, well, we need to do this and we need to do that. No, what we need to do is wait on God. Amen. Yes. And let God be the, be the director, Lord, yes. of our footsteps. Yes. Amen. And I, I'm telling you, without God, you probably ain't got sense enough to get in and out of the rain. Yes. Amen. But listen tonight, we need to focus on what thus saith the Lord. Yes. Amen. Yes. Tonight, we let these little old men and things come up in our life. I get phone calls sometimes and people so upset. You thought the rapture was done taking place. And they, they was left out. And amen. Tonight there's nothing. Amen. They seem too big or too little for God to handle. We need to focus on what thus saith the Lord. Amen. Tonight if God can't trust us with the little things, then why in the world do you think He would give us the big things? Listen tonight, we have uh, to prove ourselves uh, trustworthy. Uh, how do you do that? Uh, by trusting uh, in God uh, and staying focused uh, and being obedient. Amen. 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 
They said, people, you can tell what's going on. They were already saying in their mind, I ain't going to do that. Yeah. Go ahead and get out of the boat. <laughs> Amen. If you get out of the boat, you're going to find out you need a life jacket. That's right. Amen. 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 Tonight, because you ain't going to be able to swim forever. That's right. Amen. These arms is going to get tired. Amen. Amen. These legs are going to get tired. Amen. Matter of fact, if I get out of the boat, I sink like a rock. Amen. <laughs> Amen tonight, but we need to we need to focus, Amen, in our vision. We need to focus on eternity. Amen. We need to focus on where we're going. Amen. We need to we need to really search our souls and search our lives. Amen. Tonight and find out if where we're really going is heaven tonight. Amen. Tonight I, I'm persuaded in my heart and in my mind, and I know. Amen. Tonight, it ain't everybody that says they're a child of God as a child of God. Amen. Ain't everybody that says they're saved that is saved tonight. Amen. Amen. There's a lot of wolves out there in this old world Amen. that they wearing in sheep's clothing. Amen. Amen. Right. And boy, they can be very deceptive. Amen. Tonight. Amen. But you know what? Tonight, boy, God said, try the spirit and see if they be a God. Amen. Tonight, I get around something. Amen. Tonight, and it's not commander of my spirit. Amen. There ain't nobody has to tell me to leave. I'm gone. Amen. 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 Listen tonight. I don't want right. anything to do with the old devil and the demons. Amen. You might think you can whip the devil more. You bigger than I am. Amen. Ain't but one person been able to whip him. And that's Jesus Christ. We need to stay focused on where we're going and the journey that we're on and where it's going to wind up. It's going to wind up in heaven or hell. Amen. Tonight you're either going up or you're going down. You're either going into peace or you're going into torment. We need to be focused tonight uh, on yeah. where we're going. Uh, amen. You might say, Preacher, I love Joyce. Uh, amen. If you love her uh, as much as you said you did, uh, uh, stay focused yeah. on God. Uh, and one day after a while, uh, you will see her. Yeah. Uh, there's nothing we can do for her now. Uh, uh, she's gone. Uh, uh, she's resting uh, in the arms right. of Jesus. Uh, uh, but tonight we can stay focused uh, and march on. Oh, honey, uh, uh, you take an army uh, uh, because one soldier uh, uh, goes down. The army don't quit. Uh, 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 we got to keep on uh, 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 keeping on uh, 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 for this man called uh, uh, Jesus Christ. Stay focused on the Lord. Amen. Amen. Stay focused on the Lord. I believe whenever old Paul would eat a steak, he was thankful to God that he had a steak. When he had to eat peanut butter and jelly, he was thankful to God Amen. that he had the peanut butter and jelly. Amen. Amen. Tonight, that's what we need. That's what we need to do. We need to stay focused on God. We need to stay focused on the Lord. Amen. Amen. And another thing in closing tonight, we need to be focused on our testimony tonight. Yes. Amen. Do you realize tonight how important your testimony <laughs> is? Amen. When you leave out of here tonight, you are a witness. Amen. To a lost and a dying world. Amen. That knows that you go to Grace Independent Baptist Amen. Church. Amen. Amen. Tonight, boy, how we need to be, how we need to be focused. Amen. Amen. I remember pastoring a church being years and years and years ago. And this guy was doing some things that he wasn't supposed to. Amen. And boy, I'm telling you, he was holding an office in the church. I called him one night and I said, I need to talk to you. Amen. Me and another guy went. We sent him down. And we told him, said, listen, what you're doing's not right. Amen. Now, I'm going to give you the opportunity to repent right here. Amen. Tonight, he get things right. Amen. But if you don't get things right, you ain't going to keep on doing what you're doing in the church. He looked at me and he said, they ain't nobody can take me out of that position. I said, you watch. <laughs> Amen. Tonight you watch. Amen. Right. We come in to church that Sunday morning. Amen. Got things started. He aimed to get up and do what he normally done. When he stood up, I said, sir, you need to sit back down. <laughs> Amen. You need to sit back down. Ain't somebody else going to do this. Amen. Tonight they're going to continue <clears throat> to do it until you get your testimony back in line. Amen. Amen. Tonight, listen, guarding our testimony 
Be focused on our testimony. Be focused on who you are. Amen. And by what blood yes. was shed. Amen. Right. For you. Amen. Right. Tonight, boy, I'm telling you what, in a, in a church, you might say, preacher, you're crazy. Amen. But I'm telling you what, in a church, if I got a Sunday school teacher, Amen. Or I got a deacon or amen. Anybody in the church and they're doing some ungodly things, amen. I'll be the first one to tell them. Amen. You either need to straighten up or you need to get out of your position. Amen. He said, Well, I can still come to church. I said, You more than welcome come to church. Amen. Tonight, but you not serving, amen. In the church with you doing what you're doing. Amen. Listen tonight. God is very, very, very harsh on us whenever we hold a position. Amen. Yeah. Tonight, He is very strict. We have to meet a strict qualifications. Amen. Yeah. And to be able to teach these young kids back here. Amen. I don't want no heathen back there right. teaching yeah. them kids. Yeah. Amen. Tonight, I don't want them teaching kids one thing and then coming out here doing something yeah. else. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Tonight, if you teach them, you right. need to walk what you're teaching. Amen. Right. And if you can't walk what you're teaching, then you don't need to be teaching anymore. Right. Amen. The same thing goes with a goes with the singing group. Amen. And I, if you sing Amazing Grace all the Sunday, praise God, you better be singing Amen. Amazing Amen. Grace all the Monday. Amen. 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 Holding an office in the church. Amen. Amen. I, boy, that's letting sin get in. I don't know where it really hurts. And you say, preacher, you ain't got no right to judge me. I know that God already has. Amen. Amen. I, he said, if you go hold office, I'd be faithful. Amen. In the things of God. Amen. And I think we need to guard our testimony. Yes, sir. We need to be focused on our testimony. Amen. Tonight, boy, I'm telling you what, when we do something, we don't need to be worried how it's going to impress everybody else. We need to be worried on how it's going to impress God. Amen tonight, because He's the one we're serving. Amen tonight, boy, I'm telling you, Matthew said, He said, let your light so shine before me. Amen. Before me. And listen now. Let your light so shine before me. Amen. A Christian has got a light yes. about them. Amen. Amen. Tonight, you know what sin does? Sin blackens that light. Right. Amen. Tonight, and it causes that light not to shine. Amen tonight. And boy, I'm telling you what, you not only hurt yourself, but you hurt the reputation of the Amen. church. Amen. You hurt the whole family of God. Amen tonight. And boy, I'm telling you what, I don't want to do anything to bring shame. Amen. Amen. Unto this man called Jesus Christ. Amen. We need to be focused yes. on our testimony. Amen. People's got this old attitude. You know what they think? Well, I don't care what they think. Amen tonight. I'm going to do what I want to because if I do it, I ain't a hurt hurt nobody but myself. And that's the biggest lie that ever come out of hell. Amen. Tonight, you realize tonight, amen, that I, if I commit adultery on my wife with another woman, look at the lies, amen, and that it would affect, amen, it wouldn't only affect my life, it would affect everybody in here. Amen. Tonight, I say, well, you're the preacher. Well, you're the Christian. Amen. Tonight, and if I live right, so should you. Amen. 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 What's good for the goose is good for the game. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Matthew, in chapter number 5, and verse number 16, he said, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Amen. Tonight, that's the kind of works we need in our life. That's the kind of testimony that we need to have in our life. Amen. Tonight, I, I will cover some things here. Amen. And if you don't want to hear what I get all, amen, just stick one finger in the ear. Amen. <laughs> amen. Tonight, you can block it out like that. But we got to guard our testimony. Yes. Amen. Tonight, being on guard for your testimony yes. means you got to be real careful. Amen. You gotta watch the enemy. You might do something and have every good intention on what you're doing. And you might be doing it out of the goodness of your heart. Amen. Tonight, but you know what the Bible says? Bible said to let not our good be evil spoken of. Right. Amen. Tonight, you give That's the right. devil an inch and he'll take a mile. Amen. Right. Tonight, listen tonight. We gotta guard our testimony. We need to be focused on our testimony. Yes. Amen. Tonight, we need 
need to be focused, amen, did I, whenever we tell somebody about Jesus, amen, did I, our actions needs to show that we know Him, amen, and the three part of the sin. I had a guy to come in where I worked at one day and cuss me out, amen, did I, on something coming in late, and then when he found out I was a preacher, praise God, he was one too, amen. <laughs> <laughs> and when he told me, he said, I pastor a church too. I said, you know what, son? He said, what's that? I said, I don't think I tell anybody. <laughs> hey, man, I don't think I tell anybody. But see, we live in a society today that it's okay. It's okay to get mad in the restaurant and show our ignorance. Amen. Amen. And then leave the track underneath their plate telling somebody about Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Tonight, I never had seen a meal in a restaurant that was worth me losing my testimony. Amen. I've never seen anything so high in Walmart that was worth me losing my testimony over. Hey Amen. There's a right way and there's a wrong way Amen. to handle everything. Hey Amen. Tonight, if you want to get as mad as a hornet, go build you a nest in a tree. Hey <laughs> Amen. Because God don't need you. Hey Amen. Tonight, we have to watch our temper and we got to keep our tongue in under control. Hey Amen. Tonight, because what we say. Brother Jamie, you can't take back. You can ask, you can say, forgive me a thousand times over. But what you said is always going to be present. Right. Right. Amen tonight. And if you mess up, brother, and I'm telling you, you get straightened up, a lot of people's looking for you to mess up again. That's right. yeah. Amen. That's the only thing that they're focusing on. We need to focus on our testimony tonight. Amen. If we, if we, and we need to also I'm going to cover one more thing. We need to also focus on the family of God. <coughs> and we need to focus on the church. Amen. Amen. Tonight God put us here as a body and we are family. Amen. And that we are family don't mean that we spit and spat and fight. Right. Amen. It means that we are a family of God. Yes. Amen. And I'm going to cover something right real fast. If you got any sly remarks to say about anything to anybody, keep your mouth shut. Amen. 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 Just don't say nothing at all. If you hear somebody say, well, if things don't change, I ain't coming. Now, keep it to yourself. That's right. Amen. Stay focused on what God want you to stay focused on. Amen. Right. Amen. Focus on your testimony. Amen. We're here to help people. And if we focus on God, you know what that's going to do? It's going to build the unity in the church. Amen. And it's going to build the love in the church. And it's going to build the compassion in the church. Amen. Amen. Tonight to where we can have uh, the Spirit of God. Amen. Running up and down the aisles. Amen. I was in a service here a while back, amen, tonight, I, I can't even remember where it was at. And somebody, uh, uh, somebody was singing or something, and somebody said, well, I wouldn't be caught dead coming to church in that time. Keep your mouth shut. Amen. Yeah. They're the ones that's got the answer for the yeah. From the last time I got a memo, God didn't say I'm stepping down and leaving it to somebody else. That's right. <laughs> He's still God. Amen. When you see somebody come in and they're not dressed to your standards, think for just a minute. That might be all they have. That's right. That's right. That's right. Exactly. And if we kill them before we ever offer them anything, then we've not done what God right. wanted right. us right. to do. Amen. Tonight, there was a family that come to church for a while and wasn't saved. Amen. And she'd come in shorts. Amen. A preacher, and preacher, somebody asked me, he said, Preacher, what you going to do about it? I said, I ain't going to do nothing. She's lost. 
Lost people dress like lost people. Lost people act like lost people. Amen. Tonight, you know what we've done? We handed out a hand. And asked her what kind of, what size of clothes she wore. And my wife went home and got some dresses and took to her and said, Here, honey, here's your something to wear to church. Amen. And guess what? Every time from then on when she came to church, she was in a dress. Amen. Come to find it out, that's all she had. Amen. And some of the hypocritical Christians in the church said, Well, I can't believe you're letting that go on. See how sad that is? Yes. yes, it is. See how sad that is? When Jesus met the man at the tomb, it would have been sad if the Lord would say, Hey, I'm a fool with you, man. You're not even in your right mind. That's right. But the Lord had compassion on him. <coughs> and that's the same kind of compassion that we need to have <coughs> on people. Amen. And I, I, I yeah. want to cover one more thing. Amen. Then we're, going to, then we're going to quit. If we are a child of God, then we're going to come to church looking like a child of God. Amen. Amen. We're going to come to church with everything covered. Yes. And with nothing hanging out. That's right. Amen. Amen. Tonight, boy, I'm, I'm telling you, when you get up here and you get to preaching and you look out over the crowd, I'm going to be blunt with you. When you look out over the crowd and all you can see is something that is tucked in to the best of its ability, the old devil wants to take your eyes and go right straight to that. Amen. So, when we come into the house of God, we need to make sure that we're covered. That's right. Amen. 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 We need to be sure that we're decent That's right. in the sight of God. Amen. Amen. We need to be sure that, amen, that we're doing the things that God wants us to do. Focus <coughs> on your testimony. Amen. Focus on your testimony. When we come to the church, we don't need to look like we just left the bar. Amen. Amen. We need to come in with respect to God. You might say, preacher, I don't like it. I don't care. <laughs> Amen. The truth is Amen. the truth. And it will set you free. Amen. Amen. It will either make you mad or set you free one. Amen. Amen. Tonight I've actually seen people come and kneel down at the altar and have to grab and pull up so they can kneel down. That's sad. We need to come. Oh, God, quiet. Decently. We need to come decently and in order. Amen. Amen. We need to come and rest in God. Securing our testimony, focusing on our testimony. Amen. Tonight, I don't want nothing to kill my testimony. <coughs> Amen. I want people to see Jesus Amen. living in me. This last few parts that I give you, I ain't even going to charge you. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Just that's some beautiful things. That'll help each and every one of us. Help each and every one of us. Live a closer walk with God. Amen. Amen. It's time for church. Stay focused. Stay focused on the things of God. Stay focused on who you are. Saved by the blood of Jesus. Stay focused on your testimony. That people can see Jesus living in you. Amen. Stay focused on where you're going to spend eternity. Amen. It's coming quick. It is coming quick. I had a preacher tell me the other day, he said, Preacher, I don't believe we're this living in the last days. He said, I think we're living in the last hours. And you know, that's a great possibility. 
Yep. He can come anytime. Right. We're just all going to stand. Amen. The altar's open if you want to come and pray. And I hope and pray you got something out of this. I know we hit a couple of skid marks tonight. Yes. <laughs> Mike was, every time I would hit one, I could feel the air. <laughs> 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 Amen. 